Hello everyone. So welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So today we are going continuing with uh, one more video in our API testing playlist. And in this video, we are going to cover the important interview question that is asked in an API testing interview, the difference between HTTP and HTTPS. Right now, I'll give you real time example also between what is the difference between HTTP and HTTPS. Also, we will see what is actually HTTP request and HTTP response, right? So let me share my screen and uh, okay. So uh, there are various parts into this diagram. You can see this, uh, you know, currency note is there. We have got Postman, we have got this another diagram. Right, a lot of things are covered in one diagram because those are relatable. But for now, we'll start with the first thing. Let us put our focus on this particular thing. Now, what is this image? Now, if you already you know are watching movies, so I'm giving you a real time example. Right, you might be watching movies. So, uh, what used to happen earlier, or maybe now also, when you know uh, the two gangs are doing smuggling, right? So the half currency note that one gang will be having half currency note the other gang will be having and once they will meet they will uh, you know um, connect the two dots by exchanging their notes and they'll make sure okay this is the party to which they have to respond or to which they have to uh, give the gold in return of money or something right so anything so that's how the smuggling used to take place right now why, why I'm sharing this example? Because that's how it is uh, relatable to your postman and server, right? So this is the server. This is the postman. Postman is nothing but it's a client, right? So um, if you have to do some communication, right? You will have to start. You will have to initiate a communication channel, right? So that is HTTP request. So postman, you will hit the API in the postman, right? What you will do is... Let's say this is the API that we had seen in one of the previous video, right? So I'm clicking on send button. As soon as I'll click on send button, I'll get some response. Okay. Just ignore the response for here. Now it's 404. Let's, uh, you know, imagine that we are getting some response, right? It's a response only, whether it's 404, but it's a response only, right? So what is happening? The communication is happening. The handshake is happening between the postman client and the server. So one is HTTP request. So postman is sending request and in return, you will get response. Similar to when you call someone, you will speak to them. Hi, how are you? Right? So they will respond to you. Yes, I'm good. What about you? Right? So that is request and response. That is what is happening between the two. Okay. Now let us see what is the difference between HTTP and HTTPS. Okay. Now, when I say HTTP, it is not encrypted, okay? It is not secure. When I say HTTPS, it is secure, right? So S stands for secure. S, uh, you know, means the communication is being encrypted between the two parties. So now, if you see in this user one, HTTP, and uh, it is, uh, you know, trying to access their email inbox, right they have sent this particular uh, uri request and password is also see it is visible so hacker if they will try to you know do man in the middle attack so what is man in the middle attack it is nothing but mma so they will try to intercept they will try to steal the important credentials the important information right the authentic information they will try to steal in order to access the email box. So they will be able to see the password as it is A1, B2, C3 because it is HTTP, right? It is not secure. Now let us see from HTTPS. HTTPS is secure. So when I say secure, it means whatever the password you will send, the hacker will not be able to see the password in the plain text. It will be encrypted. It will be coming in the encrypted format for the hacker. Right. So they will see some this kind of encryption and every time it will change. Right. So this is the difference between HTTP and HTTPS. Now, in many interviews, you know, whether uh, it's API testing or it's normal testing also, the freshers 
they will get such kind of questions. What is the difference between HTTP and HTTPS, right? So you have to prepare accordingly. Okay. Now, what are the things those are there in HTTP request and what are the things that are there in HTTP response, right? This can also be a part of the question for the freshers, right? What all things you will see in HTTP request? So we'll see in HTTP request, see. You get host, user agent, right? All, all these things are coming in the HTTP request. So address I have mentioned two times, so you can ignore the typo. Address, request method, and body, right? So what is address, request method, and body? So see, body is here, right? Address, and this is the method, right? Method can be put, get, post, any method can be there, right? Then HTTP response. What does HTTP response contains? It contains status code, it contains headers, and again, it contains body. So now this is your response section, okay? Let me share the postman so you are able to understand it better. Let me share the postman screen. Okay, now the part over here is what it stands for request. The part below it stands for response. So what does HTTP response contains? Body, headers and status. Status is 200, 405. So there is one more video that we have already uploaded, I think last Sunday, right? So that was related to what kind of status codes we have, right? So 200, okay. So that stands for standard response for successful HTTP request. That means the it is a successful, uh, you know, request that was made, right? Sometimes you might get 401, sometimes you get might get 404, 403, depends, right? So in short, this is the request section. This is the response section. Okay. Below one is response. See, I'm moving it up and ahead. That is response. The upper one is request. Right. So this is the difference between request and response. And what all things you will be having in the request and response that we just saw. Let's go to that diagram again. Okay, now I'll give you one more uh, real-time example in the same diagram. Okay, now you can see HTTP request. So what does HTTP request have? It has headers. So you can consider an example of this, uh, you know, letters. So this is a very different image because these days we don't post anything. We are generally doing communication via mobile only, right? So consider this, uh, you know, this letter envelope, right? The headers are there. You will be putting appropriate stamps. The body would be there and the address to which person and to which location, to which zip code you need to deliver. So those all things are coming in the body and request method URL address, right? So this is how the HTTP request is being made. It has headers, the top, it has body, and it has request method URL address. Methods, get, post, put. So all these are methods. So this is how, you know, you have to explain in an interview what is the difference between HTTP and HTTPS. What is HTTP request? What does it contain? What does HTTP response contains, right? Then uh, when 200 OK will come, what, does, what do you mean by if you get status code as 200? Right. So these all things you will have to explore. You will have to tell in an interview to them. And then uh, definitely you will be getting selected. Right. So variety of examples we have used in this particular video. So hope you have understood. And uh, this is a very small attempt that uh, we are doing in order to make sure that you are able to clear your interview rounds. Now these days API testing is in, in, in demand. So definitely you will get one or two questions on API testing and Postman is one of the widely used to. So definitely again, you will, can get questions on Postman also. So what we have done is we have tried covering various aspects with real time examples and with Postman also. So you understand it and you can also, uh, uh, you know, speak with what you have understood, you can speak with your words in an interview so that interviewer will also know. 
no he or she is a knowledgeable candidate let's hire them right so thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates